Well, that's how it was with U.S. generators. The high cost guys not getting called in would, would leave. And so we lost some nuclear power plants. We had a, a tremendous attrition with the coal-fired power plants. Well, now today we've, we've kind of reached the limit of that. Coal-fired power plants average more than 70 years in age. <laughs> They're getting on. They're long in the tooth. They're breaking down. Some of them are blowing up even. The natural gas fleet averages more than 30 years in age. They're breaking down. But the economics now at the margin are being driven by the renewables, the solar and the wind farms that come on and can undercut simply because they don't have a labor cost, they don't have a fuel cost. Uh, it really doesn't pay anybody to build new gas plants, new new coal plants, and, and certainly no nukes. Although where we're seeing the new demand from data centers, from businesses who are terrified because of the diminished diminished reliability, uh, petrochemicals in, in Texas, they're building new power plants behind the fence, behind the meter.